The only way to, to get out of this is to think outside the box. You can't fix a problem with the same level of thinking that created it. Everything presented to you is always presented to you as if you're in a box. And if you're standing in this box, you see the walls to your left, you see the walls to your right, you see them in front, you see them in back. If you look down, you see a solid floor because you can feel it underneath your feet. So you don't even bother to think to look up. And the powers that shouldn't be growing up and through our whole lives, make sure they push that into our face. And they push and they push and they push and they push and they push. And they push. And they remind us of their propaganda on a daily basis. You have no power. You have no power. Don't look up. Look to the sides and look down. But don't look up. There's no point. If you look up, you'll only realize how close the ceiling is to you. And you'll feel claustrophobic. So just look straight ahead. Or around you. Or down. Fear, 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 fear. You need us. You need us. Remember that you need us. And you never look up. You always look around, you look down, and you just assume, hey, they're right. And everything is presented to you in this fashion, that the only solutions are what are presented to you inside this box. And picture the walls of this box like video screens. And all these events happen, you can see things going on. There's really never solutions ever offered. There's never critical thinking offered. There's only one or two options offered. Usually it's A or B, and you have to pick. It gives you the faux choice of picking when both options lead to the same thing. They've been playing this game for a very long time. The way to beat it is to look up. When you look up, you'll realize there is no ceiling. Nothing but blue sky. That'll make your brain say, wow, that's odd. I thought there was a ceiling there. And you suddenly realize that you're not so tiny in this box, but actually you're cramped in there real tight. All squeezed up tight. You feel very constricted. And suddenly you step up. You just stand up straight. And you stretch your body out. You take a big breath. Ah! stretch your muscles out and you hear your bones creaking and cracking everything starting to align itself and you realize when you clear your eyes and you rub your eyes and you look around you that there's infinite possibility all around you wherever you can see and when you look down at your feet you suddenly realize that that box is very very small and you were cramped up in there where you, where you thought you were standing inside of a large box you're actually cramped up in there all squeezed up but you didn't realize that in reality because in your mind they had you thinking you were a very small powerless individual when in reality you're like a colossus you just stood up out of that box and it's tiny it's like a tiny little shoe box now that you're standing in And then you step outside of that box and you start to look around you and you realize the infinite possibilities around you. And that's when you can actually start to achieve your true potential. That's how they control us. And the way of beating their methods of control is that simple because once you step outside of that box, ladies and gentlemen, you make them irrelevant. And that's how we win is by making them irrelevant. They are set and armed and prepped for a physical fight with us. They want us to think that it's either total capitulation or bloody revolution. Again, a choice of only A or B. When in reality, the real choice is to step out of the situation and don't play the game, period.